Hey guys, thanks for watching TFB TV. I'm Joel with Precision Rifle Network. Today, the CZ 457 22 Long Rifle. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do for you today on this uh, CZ457 is just give you a straight up review of it, right? I'm going to give you a bunch of specifications and kind of the details, all those sorts of things. We're also we're going to get it zeroed at 50 yards on paper, and uh, we're, then we're going to bang some steel probably out to uh, 100 yards, maybe 200 yards. It's a pretty windy day, and a 22 and that much wind is going to be a challenge. So I may wimp out on that, but uh, I'm going to give you a complete rundown of this guy, starting with the specifications. You know, I didn't say it right off the bat, but this is the Pro Varmint suppressor ready. So this guy has got a heavy 16 and a half inch barrel. It's threaded half 28 for use with the suppressor. Uh, CZ claims that the shorter barrel gives plenty of time for the cartridge to get a full burn while still increasing the rigidity of the barrel. So uh, what they claim is it's just a tack driver and we're going to find that out today. One thing they did add that's new to this uh, this particular rifle was a American style push to fire safety. So I guess uh, hunters ed instructors and 4-H shooting coaches have been uh, begging them to uh, incorporate that for years. So they finally took them up on that and added a, just a good old push to fire safety. One thing that they did change up and add um, to this model, which I personally like a lot, is they did away with the 90 degree bolt rotation um, and they changed it to a 60 degree throw. So this is great. You know, obviously it's faster, but it also, you know, it allows for larger, uh, you know, ocular bell diameters and lower ring heights and, and things like that. So that's pretty great. And then also the 457 um, now has a trigger that is adjustable for weight creep and over travel, um, you know, just with a, with a screw. So that's pretty awesome. You know, with the other ones like a CZ 457, when those first came out, you had to go get your Yo Dave spring kit or, or whatever it was, you know, to lighten the trigger. Um, and the 457 here now you can just adjust it with a, with a screw. So that's pretty great. Uh, again, this is chambered in 22 long rifle, uh, has one and 16 inch twist on the barrel. Magazine capacity is five, but they sell 10 round uh, magazines as well. Um, the length of pull is 13.75 inches on this guy. Barrel length overall is 16 and a half inches. The weight is 7.3 pounds. And the MSRP of the CZ457 Pro Varmint Suppressor Ready is $588. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get my initial group um, with the SK Match ammunition in the red box here. Uh, I used this to zero and it was basically one kind of jagged clover leaf at 50 yards So I expect good results out of this guy uh, We're gonna go ahead and get five rounds as a group on this and then we'll switch to the federal premium and to the Ely as well And uh, we'll just see what we get. I'll give you my results and uh, we'll know which one of these Ammos the uh, CZ 457 likes best. So let's get going on this. Pretty good group down there guys i don't know if it's going to get much better than that i'm actually really impressed right off the bat with this little gun all right guys this is going to be the federal premium gold medal uh 40 grain uh, and so this will be my initial five shot group on the federal I did buy one. Well guys, I, I pulled the last shot um, hardcore. I think it's still right in there, honestly, with the group. And this is not a very good group compared to that SK ammo. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just finish out, switch to the Ely and get our five shot group. And then I'll show you all three targets side by side and we can kind of analyze what's going on down there. All right guys, and final group is gonna be with the Ely uh, 40 grain match grade.
That looks to be a really good group down there too. Well guys, these are pretty dang good groups. Uh, the Federal Gold Medal was the worst, right at an inch. I'm gonna flash some pictures up on the screen showing you an app that I use to measure groups um, to give you an exact um, measurement. It's even more precise, I feel like, than using calipers trying to measure center to center. So here was the result from the Federal Gold Medal match, 40 grain. This was at 50 yards for a zero. And here was the SK match, the red box. I keep saying red box, guys, because there's a yellow box and there's a red box, and then people kind of know them by color. SK is the one that I figured would do the best. Um, it actually came in second, I believe, but um, still a dang good group. The uh, orange dot, uh, for reference, is one inch, guys. So this was a 40 grain, again, zero at 50 yards. And for the win, this is the Ely 40 grain, and uh, I'm not even sure how tiny that is at this point. I haven't measured this one yet, but um, it definitely wins, and uh, I'm guessing it's right around a quarter of an inch, guys. That is pretty badass for 50-yard group um, out of a 22, a sh real short barrel 22. So, you know, when I said earlier in the video that CZ claims this thing is a tack driver, guys, tack driver indeed. All right, guys, I stretched this video out right to sundown. In fact, the sun has already set. Uh, it's pretty low around here, and I need to be getting done with video for the day. I, the, it's been a long day, man, I can't even tell you. The wind ended up being way too high for me um, to be able to, to stretch out the distance. Just at my personal range here, it would have been unsafe. Um, we've got a horse pasture and houses and, and things like that. Um, so I just felt like with the, with the high wind, I didn't want to risk it, so I didn't get to stretch it out to you know a couple hundred yards for you and, and show some of those things. But hopefully you appreciated the review of the CZ457 Pro Varmint Suppressor Ready. I know I did. It is a great little gun. I wish I owned it, but my buddy Zach loaned that one to me for this review. Really great, guys. I mean, for, for a factory gun shooting factory ammo, um, it shoots as well as my Voodoo 22, which is a full custom. Guys, take a minute to check out our sponsor, Ventura Munitions. Those guys are awesome, and they show us a lot of support over here at TVFB TV. Um, also consider supporting us through Patreon. Uh, get entered to win some awesome gear, some giveaways we got going on every month there. And tune in again soon for another great video from TFB TV.